Yeah. yeah. Thank, you. thank you so much, Captain Kip. Brought to you by the Downhill Supply Company. We appreciate it. We'll get another report from you. If I can get out of, if I can get out of the snow. <laughs> All right. Dig yourself out. There you go. Captain Kip, uh, brought to you by Downhill Supply Company. Demo days next week, as he's reminding you. Josh Taus is joining us from Carabasset. He is the Carabasset Valley Trail Manager. Now there's all this snow on the ground. What about fat biking? It's, it's a good, is it, is it good fat biking yet? Mm, you know, honestly, I haven't been out, so I don't know. I know that uh, the gauge is getting groomed, so if he groomed last night and it froze this morning, I'm sure that the fat biking today would be excellent. Now, fat biking kind of relatively new. So, uh, tell us about the etiquette of fat biking. Um, what you should know. Well, what you should know. I guess if it, if the snow's too soft and you're leaving a track or you're leaving a trench, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, you know, deeper than the the tread of your bike tire, that's probably a good indication that you want to turn around and maybe find something else to do for the day. Uh, you know, the, the the optimum conditions are are a bone hard surface, mm -hmm. so that you're your tire just kind of floats along on that. Mm -hmm. And if you're, if you're leaving a trench, um, you know, you're, you're degrading the quality of the, of the groom surface. So you want to try to avoid that sort of thing. There's a bunch of etiquette information on the NEMBA website. Um, as well, the, the internet on its own has yeah. a bunch of sort of fat biking etiquette that's, uh, that's appropriate. Well, you should have that bookmarked, uh, the NEMBA website anyway. Yeah, Lots the, tra of great the trail conditions are always on there. So, you know, mm -hmm. it would come right to you if I guess if you had it bookmarked. And not just here. I mean, if you're looking mm -hmm. to go travel someplace else, there's a lot of information there for, for biking throughout, right? Throughout yeah. the, the country. Uh, yeah, yeah. The NEMBA site on its own has a bunch of information around New England. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, apps like Trail Forks and... and uh, and some others have a ton of trail information from around the country. And every little town has their own mountain bike club. So yeah. you can always go to the go to that particular club site and, and find out more specific local information. They'll point you in the right direction. Yeah, just going back to that race, you said that, that you have 600 participants you're anticipating this year? Yeah, we had. What, yeah. How has it grown from the first uh, race? Um, 10 years ago, I think there were 50 people or wow. 80 people, something like that. Prior to that, we had had short track races where there was around 100 people, yeah. um, you know, during the, the earlier 90s, I guess, mm -hmm. um, into the late 90s. But since we started the, the more endurance style race, it's grown from that 80 to 600 now. Fantastic. And, in the, you know, in the past, when Norba was doing their races here in the, in the base area, I mean, there were 700 racers that would that would come and do all of the racing disciplines. So right. it's great to see that we're getting back to those kinds of numbers because the, the market is saying that they want to come and do that exactly. kind of event and we have the we have the facility for it, right. so it's great. Good stuff. Thank you, Josh, hey, for being with us. Thanks Cheers for being to the here. snowmakers. You bet. Uh, thanks for all the hard work you do out there. We'll take a break.